we have covered various sorts of copilots, whether that's a copilot that helps you code or a copilot that assists you with generation. However, let me introduce a new copilot that's specialized for your data. Introducing Panda AI. Panda AI is something that enables you to chat with your data, whether that's SQL, CSV, or many other file types, where you're also using large language models as well as RAG to help you chat with the data. Now, this is a fully open source project, and it's a copilot that will enhance your interactions with any form of data. Just take a look at this demo. Now, shout out to this user who basically used Streamlit as well as integrating this application of Panda AI into it. And this is where this is a copa that will analyze your data. In this app that he created, it's something that will analyze your sales analytics. And this is through various file types. You simply add your file and the bot does its job in ingesting and analyzing that data. This is where you're allowed to chat with your data and have an output where certain context is given to you, where in this case is generating a scatter plot to help you see where the sales are coming from. It, you can also chat with it, summarize it and do so much more. In basic terms, it's a basic application that will allow you to chat with any sort of data that you provide it and it will give you better analysis as to what you should do with it. What an amazing year for the private discord. For simply being a Patreon, we offered 9 paid subscriptions completely for free since the start of this year, which only has been 2 months. These plans add up to $700 and more if you are to individually purchase them. We've had insane partnerships with big AI companies, giving out subscriptions to AI tools and frameworks completely for free, like DeFi, NVIDIA, and many others. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency with AI. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you also gain the ability to get daily AI resources, AI news, consulting, networking opportunities, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. If you're interested in elevating your AI game, highly recommend that you take a look at the Patreon link in the description below and join today. This is something that you should definitely not miss out, so definitely take a look at this. Now, isn't that amazing? There's countless possibilities as to what you can do with this. So this is something that we're going to take a look at as we go further into the video, showcase how you can install it and how you can get started with it. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Pandas AI. This is basically a Python library that's going to revolutionize the way you interact with your data, as it's something that will enable you to effortlessly queue up any sort of data in natural language across various formats, whether that's CSV files, you have XLSX, you have Postgres SQL, you have MySQL, BigQuery, Databrinks, as well as Snowflake. It's going to facilitate your data and it's going to also cleanse it. You can also analyze it as you're chatting along with the Panda AI chatbot, and you can generate features seamlessly with it. Now, this comes with features like natural language querying, you have data visualization where you're able to have it generate different plots, bar charts, as well as different graphs. It also has data cleansing and feature generation. You can see right here that there's various different formats that you can process your data with, whether that's Salesforce, Snowflake, and many of the others that we talked about. And this way, you're also able to get different analytics, insights, reports, as well as charts out of it by using and processing that data through this Panda AI interface. Now, you can see that this is something that will help you save time. It's going to also enhance your efficiency as well as simplify the complex data tasks that you might provide it. And this is something that you can access completely for free. And it's something that we're going to take a look at as we go further into the video. Now, there's two methods to access this, but at the current moment, you're not able to use this for personal use cases yet because you're going to have to join in for the waitlist once they launch their cloud platform. But you're also able to download it on your local host, which is a great way for you to get started. It's super simple and you just need to install it with pip as well. You can also install it with poetry. Now, another method is trying this out in your browser where you can access it through Google Colab. 
So let's actually get started and set this up on Google Colab. It's super easy. What you want to do first is go over to file and save a copy in your own drive. Once you have done that, you can then go over to runtime, change the runtime type to the best hardware that's available. Once you have set that, then you can proceed forward with installation. What you want to do is first get started and you need to install this version of Panda AI. You simply just click on this play button and you're going to be able to clone it on this Google Colab sheet. This is a way for you to install it. And in this next case, you're going to be then working with the smart data frame from various data sources. This is where you're including your data types. So in this case, they're working with Polar's data frame, as well as you can work with CSV files. So you just need to specify. But for this example, we're importing it from Panda's data frame, where it's going to involve us first importing the data library and creating a data frame. Now, additionally to this, they stated that Panda's AI will also utilize Open AI's API key. So you would then need to import your API key. So you can set it to whatever large language model that you want to work with. In this case, you're using GPT, so GPT-4, I believe. So in this case, if you want to upload your own data, you can set it up by importing it to the table of contents and you can actually import it over here. Now, after you have set up your large language model, the API key as in, you can then initiate the smart data frame and then begin querying it up. This is where it's using natural language and then Panda AI will allow you to easily plot it in, as a chart. And you can see over here that it's able to plot and read your data. Now in the other examples, they have stated that you're able to even customize the plot as well as customize the instructions by providing additional details, such as like specifying the colors or even ad adding different additional elements. And this is a great way for you to work alongside this copilot to chat and format your data in different ways. You can analyze it, you can cleanse it, and you can do so much. But in this case, this is just a simple example for you to get started on Google Colab. What I'm waiting for is the launch of their official product so that I can play around with it and analyze my personal data as well. So that way I can easily chat with it on their clean UI that they're gonna be releasing fairly soon. Now, just take a look at this example where they have integrated Panda AI into this new application that's called Robbie Sheets. This is an AI chatbot that they have designed so that you can interact with tabular data such as your Excel files, as well as any sort of CSV file. Now, this chatbot is going to allow you to create charts, make edits to it, and even ask questions about your data using OpenAI's API key that has been integrated into this application. It's powered by Pandas AI and it's going to help you in various sorts of ways with its intuitive interface for any sort of data analytics as well as working alongside with it so that you can find the best data that is needed for helping you out in that certain case. Lastly, I recommend that you take a look at the docs because this is a great way for you to get started with this application. You can get started with the examples, which will showcase how you can get started with working with different file types. They also have a lot of guides on advanced usage. So this way you will have a better idea as to what you can do with Pandas AI. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave all these links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. This is definitely an amazing application that will help you be, help you have this copot so that it can be used for various different things and it will help you at the end of the day with your productivity. So with that thought, guys, make sure you follow along with the Patreon page if you guys haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest resources, stay up to date with the latest AI news, as well as staying in the loop with whatever is happening in the AI world. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news that I'm posting for free. Make sure you check out the YouTube page, subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.